If you follow me on Twitter, then you know I recently got myself a PlayStation 4. You may also know that I'm partnered with the fine folks at Screenwave Media, and recently they offered me an Elgato recording device to record off of said console. So I figured, why not? This is as good a time as any to talk about a PlayStation 4 game. It's, um... Decisions. Um... Tear it unfolded. Why not? Tearaway Unfolded is a 3D platformer where you play as a messenger on a journey to deliver a message, aka itself, to the you, the literal you of the real world playing the game. There is no fourth wall to speak of here. You are controlling the character like any other game, but as the omnipotent onlooker, you work with the messenger in multiple ways. Lighting up dark areas with that weird light bar on the controller, stroking the touchpad to cause wind to move objects, Drawing whatever your heart desires on the same touchpad with surprisingly accurate results, and a whole lot more with different mechanics being thrown at you throughout the whole journey. And surprisingly enough, none of them feel like a gimmick. There's not much challenge in terms of actual platforming, in fact, it takes a while before you even get the ability to jump. The challenge comes from utilizing all of the controller's tools as best as you can, and despite combat being kinda wonky with enemies being harder to hit than they really should, it's otherwise pretty genius how the controller is such an integral part of the game. Probably the most obvious aspect of Tearaway Unfolded, however, is the style. Everything is made out of paper, so much so by taking photos of certain objects, you unlock a downloadable paper craft from the official website and you can make that object in real life. The world is bright and colorful, and constantly uses the paper aesthetic to its advantage. However, while the world is vibrant and some characters are cute, I can't help but feel like some areas are just soulless. A lot of characters are about as uninteresting as a random RPG's townsfolk. Some levels, in my opinion, are a bit too big and feel like they drag on. And there's only a really small handful of memorable music tracks, opting instead for Empty Atmosphere, which was honestly pretty disappointing. Everything else, though, was top-notch. About 7 to 8 hours to beat, a bunch of collectibles that you have to replay areas to complete the entire collection, and despite my criticism of some levels dragging on a bit much, the last few levels in particular are pretty awesome, ending the game on quite a high note and just left me wanting more, which in reality just caused me to dust off Little Big Planet 2. The guys at Media Molecule know how to make a charming and adorable platformer, and while I haven't played the original on Vita, like many others out there, Tearaway Unfolded does not disappoint. If you like 3D platformers and either have or want a PS4, don't let this one pass you up, like, again, many others did with the original Vita version. What are you gonna do? I give Tearaway Unfolded for PS4 Origami out of 10. See, I know that's a bit of a stretch, but think about it, it's made out of paper, uh, it's both fun and nice to look at, so I... I got nothing, that's it.